if you are a fan of QWERTY smartphones and your old BlackBerry urgently needs the replacement, then you are in the right place. This new Unihertz Titan Slim might be just for you. In fact, it might be pretty much the only option left on the market. Check it out on this review. Let's start with unboxing and let's see what's in the box. On the top we have our Titan Slim. Smartphone clad is the really beautiful design, silicon protective case. What to say guys, this is a very very comfortable on hand, really nice feel. This bag is completely anti-slippery, good job on hertz. So what else we have in the box? Yes, there is USB Type-C cable. And 10 volt charger. Of course, this is a not original sales package, but just a pre-production review sample. Now that we are look at what's inside the box, let's move on our Titan Slim phone. As we can see, this Titan Slim follows the design guidelines with the BlackBerry K2 model, which is not bad at all. On the contrary, fans of all Blackberries on QWERTY keyboards have finally come into their own. This is what you got. Although you haven't got a new BlackBerry in 2022, but this one is a very close to it. And this is only option to get a modern creative phone in 2022. So let's say something about the design of this phone, the fact that have this nice curved edge, a glass bag, it feels really well in the palm of your hand and it's great for one-handed use. As we can see, Titan Slim is not really slim at all. Its thickness is a little over 12 mm and many will say how this is much and how bad it is, but no. With its within of only 67 mm, it's really, as you can see, perfect in your hand. So you just won't even notice larger thickness. Now let's go right into the keyboard. It's fully creative physical keyboard on this phone. It's a really unique experience, guys. For all of you BlackBerry keyboard lovers, of course, that the fingerprint scanner is in the middle with the predictive text capabilities, the keyboard is probably the best that you can expect to use with this type of functionality. And I got to say, typing on this thing makes some getting used to, but the keys are very slick. This keyboard is very very quality built. And I think for all of you who have used things like a BlackBerry key or key 2 in the past, you are really going to like this keyboard. Can you type on this Titan Slim keyboard? Certainly, it works fine and has a great haptic feedback. In addition to the display at the keyboard, there is a fingerprint scanner on the front of the phone above the T and Y keys. Note that when you are tap on the fingerprint scanner button, it doubles as the home button. The bottom edge of this Unihertz Titan Slim houses a microphone, a very loud speaker and USB Type-C charging port. On the right side of the phone there are volume keys and the power key. There are dual nano SIM card slots on the left side. The red button is a multifunction button. If you are in the camera app it acts like a dedicated camera shutter button. When you are outside the camera app pressing and holding the button we toggle the flash as a torch and double tapping the button will take a screenshot. On the top edge of the phone you will find another microphone and the infrared port. Using the pre-installed remote app on your phone you can use the Titan Slim as a universal remote control for your AR compatible device. When I'm holding the phone the display may look huge but in reality it is only 4.2 inches which many will appreciate and that's the compactness. Yes, HD+, that's a right 720 pixel LCD display, so it's not really high resolution, but I can forgive it considering it's a, such a small display. Yes, in sunlight it doesn't really get a super bright, but you can still view videos and other content without any problems. 
Above the screen we find the 8 megapixel selfie camera with the face unlock function and there is a Titan Retro notification LED which you can modify with colors to show battery change, incoming messages, missing calls and more which is a long forgotten feature on all smartphones today. On the back you find the 48 megapixel camera lens and the LED flash along with the Unihertz logo on the back of the phone. As for this main camera, it is a rudimentary software but it has some good sides. You won't have to worry about turning off any face beautifying or smoothing algorithms and you can actually get exactly what you see when you are looking on the viewfinder, which isn't a given with many modern smartphones anymore. The software is also quick to capture images with the responding right when you hitting the shutter button. So what it looks like, let's take a look at these samples of photos and videos made by our Titan Slim. The Titan Slim ships with the Android 11, I just guess there will be upgrade to the newer Android 12 s Using the software is very smooth because the phone comes with almost pure Android without unnecessary applications. You can have absolutely all the basic services powered by Google, which means that it could work well worldwide just as it should. Android itself is mostly untouched on the Unihertz Titan, rest of the pre-installed apps can be genuinely useful if you need them. You can enable student mode, there are pre-installed infrared remote app, a sound recorder, radio or SOS, a game mode and a toolbox filled with a selection of handyman tools like a bubble level, a magnifier and plump womp. Let's not forget that there are also inevitable NFC. Unihertz has paired with the Helio P70 processor with the big 4100mAh battery, a combination that just keeps the phone going and going. It easily lasts 2 days of moderate usage and a single charge for me. With its 4100mAh battery, this phone has a very good battery life. It's great that Unihertz is including a 6GB of RAM and 256GB of storage with the phone. Though my pre-production review unit arrived with 128GB only. Uh, this is not a 5G phone, so there is that, but otherwise it has no issues making any saving calls. Titan Slim works fine with the version and T-Mobile networks. My final verdict of this Unihertz Titan Slim is truly a cool phone. I kind of love the fact that this phone is remind me of this bygone era of these keyboard phones, Blackberries, Nokias, it just so nostalgically to use a device like this. This brought me back to the previous era. It's not a perfect device, but let me tell you it is an amazing drawback. This was mobile experience in a small package. 
past a truly bag with this Titan Slim. So hit me up in the comments what you are thoughts of this unheard Titan Slim. Do you think it's a retro cool? As I do, hit me up in the comment. I'd love to hear about it. And that is now for this video. The Unheard Titan Slim campaign ended of the, the 16th of September 2022 and they have passed their $50,000 funding goal. You can pre-order the Unheard Titan Slim starting of $230. Orders are expected to start shipping on September 2022 after the Unheard Titan Slim campaign ends. Visit their crowdfunding page for all the details because now is the chance to get this really unique creative smartphone. That will be all for now, see you soon in next video, bye!